Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing is just a quick overview of the base points functionality, which is available in Tecla Structures version 2016i. What this base point functionality allows for you to do is to import or export reference models based on a different coordinate system than your existing or your current model. So oftentimes what we'll see is that people have started their model and then they'll receive an IFC file or a DWG from a different CAD package or platform. And then when they insert it because they don't have the same coordinate systems or the same um, pro project coordinate, then the models will come in and they won't be lined up. We'll also see scenarios where we'll export an IFC file from Tecla Structures and when it's imported into another viewer or something like that, they don't match up. With the base point functionality, that takes all of those issues away to where we can make sure that they're aligned without having to move your Tecla Structures model to line up with other files. Another thing that we'll see as well is that people like to use the real world coordinate systems and some of uh, the other CAD programs that are available out there. And so when they insert those, that would be very, very far from Tecla's uh, 000 origin. Um, and we try and keep our models as close to the, the origin point as we can. So with this base point functionality, basically what we have the ability to do is to come in and define what those specific offsets would be. So we can give this a name, define the coordinate system, put in the northing and easting elevation coordinates if we want, even the latitude longitude. We can have it rotated at any certain uh, degree or angle. And then we can just save those settings away and then use that when we insert reference models or when we export IFC files. So here if I come in, let's go ahead and make one of these uh, ducting reference models visible. And then I'll just come in here and fit my work area just so that we can see. And this is typical what our users will see. I have my reference model over here in the right, very, very far away from my actual model, which is over here on the left. So I'll just quickly zoom in here back to the actual model and then show you over here in my reference model settings. I'm just going to change this from the model origin to insert based upon this base point. And then when I click on modify, then we'll be able to see here that this model will be inserted and updated to its correct location. So if I just change my representation here, then we can see that model that's highlighted there over overlaid and interfaced in the correct location with my current Tecla Structures model. As I mentioned, this can also be used when we export. So if I come down here to File, Export, and then click on IFC, for example, instead of exporting my model based on the model origin, I can export it by this base point so that when it's inserted into other programs, it will be inserted in the correct location and everything will match up. So again, to summarize, what this allows us to do is to insert reference models or export reference models on different coordinate systems to ensure that they're all lined up. And then once we have the proper base point set up, it's just simply using that option and then we can import and export uh, without any issues. So as I mentioned, this is available in Tecla Structures version 2016i. We'd encourage you to use it, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.